You are literally just a conspiracy theorist. Let's take 9 11 when you use, said job. Use your own you experience on this. Yeah. Have you ever stood, say, at one end of a field, looked across? Have you yeah. seen the curvature every time? I, tell you, I, I live on a field. I live in a farm, dude. What do you like? I see the curvature every single day I drive to work. Yeah, you can. Well, Things right. are so getting a little like, tense around like here. That. We got a lot of characters, and I'm not just talking about in the movies. But ever since we got this Planet Earth movie, uh, a lot of our characters have been struggling to act like true team. So, what do you think the verdict's gonna be? What? You know, in the, the movie, the documentary. You mean the Flat Earth documentary? Yeah, I mean the Flat Earth documentary. I'm so negative about it. I'm so negative about it. Like, you know the earth is flat, right? We've been over this. I can't believe this is my life. You getting this? Everybody in this theater is an idiot. My job consists basically of choosing all the movies we show at the theater, so I'm essentially the president. For some reason, Jeff thinks that he's in charge, but he's totally not. I am. Oh, I'm totally in charge. I'm the man. And, and so when he brought this dumb Planate Earth idea to me, I was like, why? Absolutely not. There's no way we are paying to show people bad science. I'm not going to let it play if it's the last thing I do. Hey! Uh, hey, uh, hey Jeff, uh, how's it going? Any thoughts on Planate Earth? Um, yeah, sure. Movies, I like that. I, I watch Animal Planet all the time. Big fan of that. Because I really wanted to play it. Not that I'm a flat earther and all. I just really think it'll be good for the bis business. It's very interesting. And they're bringing a lot of money. It's raised or something. I just wish Gail would play along. Sometimes she's just a little pessimistic. I know, I'm in the same boat. I don't even care about this documentary. I just, I just want to raise. Hey, we need to talk about this movie. I don't want to play Playmate Earth because I think it's a terrible decision, both financially and ethically, because, look, it's not going to make any money, Jeff. And we live in a world where information is so twisted that it is our responsibility as like a reputable theater that we don't share bad science with the public. I'm not saying we have to agree with flat earthers. It's just to give them a chance. Who did this film test well with? Have you have you seen the demo information? I'm not sure they collected demo information for stuff like this. It has a whopping 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. You're clearly trying to stop the truth from getting out. I think the worst thing about this whole situation is that no one seems to be willing to accept the truth. You know, the round earthers are always claiming that the science backs them up, but in reality, all the evidence points towards a flat earth. Honestly, Kyle is the worst of the lot. He doesn't even care either way. All he cares about is sucking up for a pay raise. And I just can't stand people who don't respect science. You guys have to stop following me. I've told you I don't have any comment on this Flat Earth documentary. I don't know how many different ways I should have to tell you. Absolutely no I have no comment at all. In fact, um, in fact, in fact, you know, you can submit your questions in writing. You can, I'm happy, I'm happy to talk to you guys if you just want to maybe set up an interview and be truthful about with what you're saying. Um, I hope you guys, I wish you lots of luck. I think it's a shame that everyone's been so mean to each other lately. I mean, it just makes everything so uncomfortable. I mean, I think this Flat Earth movie is ridiculous, and I'm not sure why we're showing it, but I'm just the intern, so. I also don't want to contribute to a hostile work environment. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one being professional.
This is bad. This is really bad. I'm not sure how serious to take this. This documentary has been taking a toll on the staff. And um, I don't want to freak anybody out. I just really want this movie to do well. Hey, Sue. You know that letter that we got? It probably best it'll keep between me and you. Are you sure? Keep done a lot of panic around the staff and customers. Well, if you know what you're doing. All right, cool. Thanks. I really appreciate it. All right. Don't tell anybody about this, but early yesterday morning, I put together a vaguely threatening letter to try and dissuade them from showing the Plain Eaters movie. I, I don't know if they found it yet, but I'm hoping it's enough to get them to change their minds. Oh, hey Kyle, did yeah. you have sweep the offices? No, I didn't. Did you do that? Not. Nah, um, but take care of that. Thanks. Hey, Paul, check this out. What is it? I don't know what you're going to make of this, man. Seems like a pretty bad sign. This can't be real. They better still show the documentary. Uh, look, okay, I know the pseudoscience doesn't bother you, but this is an actual threat to the theater. It's like, not the pseudoscience, okay? The Earth is clearly flat. All the evidence points towards it. It's a flat plane. It's just accelerating upwards. That's why we have gravity. I, you... Okay, look, I'm going to take this to Jeff tomorrow, and I'm going to see what he says about those. I'm going to get some answers, all right? All right, I'm just, I'm telling you, you just flat. Hey, Jeff. Ah. Hey, hey, listen. Uh, what are you doing here so early? I need to talk to you. You're like three um, hours early. No, so, uh, Kyle, Kyle took the letter from out of, out of your office, um, and he knows, he knows. You did what? You didn't stop him? Well, I, there was nothing I could do about it. It's, uh, it's out of my control. I mean, people are gonna find out at any time. What's this meeting about anyways? Well, last night, Paul and I found a threatening letter warning us to not to screen the Flat Earther movie. So there's basically no chance we're gonna show it anymore. Well, hold on. Let's not make any assumptions here. We, well, we don't know. There's a threatening letter? Seems like bad news for the movie. Hey, come on, guys. Paul is right. We can't be sure about anything yet. We don't even know if we should really be taking this serious or not. Yeah, but this seems like pretty serious stuff. Like, I'm, I'm definitely not comfortable it's with this, all right? here. You're just saying that because you're prejudiced against us flat earthers. I'm not prejudiced. I just think you and all the other flat earthers are idiots. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we all just stop yelling for a second? Agree. This is getting way out of line. Out of line? What's out of line is that you guys are even showing this movie in the first place. Well, the people have a right to know the truth. No, you're just an idiot. You're all idiots. You're, you're an idiot. Oh, yeah, you're hey. an idiot. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, my like, God. Have you ever, like, talked to people? You don't understand the science. Like, have you ever gone to any schools? I swear. Like, you are going to be I'm just going to show the movie anyways. Yep.
That was a complete waste of time. Things are finally going back to normal. The thing about Jeff is, he's an eternal optimist. I think in the end it's a good thing. We still lost a bunch of money though.